Welcome back, Canada. Happy Friday morning. Shot of Calgary on this Friday going into a weekend. You are watching BT. My name is Sid Sixero. You've heard of cryptocurrency or Bitcoin, but do you really understand what it is? Joining us today with a trend report on the dynamic world of cryptocurrency is president of netcoins.ca, Mitchell Demeter. Mitchell, good morning. Good morning, Sid. It's a little noisy around me. You got me okay before we get started? Yeah, not a problem. All right, good. awesome. All right, El Sal let's start with the news out of El Salvador this week where Bitcoin, it was announced, is now legal tender. I don't know the intricacies, but that seems like a big deal to me, Mitchell. What do we need to know about that? Yeah, absolutely. It's a, it's a massive deal. So this is the very first country in the world that has uh, passed a bill to make Bitcoin legal tender in their country. And um, basically what we're seeing is a lot of other countries in the area are signaling that they'd like to do the same thing. Um, essentially, they, they want to move away from the U.S. dollar and uh, to kind of head get away from some of the inflation that they're, they're expecting to see from all the money printing that's been happening in the United States. Mitchell, do you expect this to not be a one-time thing? Do you, do you see other countries doing this, maybe not in, in the near term, but over the next maybe 12, 18 months? Like, is this, is this going to be something where it's not just El Salvador doing it? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think it's going to happen a lot quicker. Um, you know, there's a saying, suddenly, then all at once, and uh, or so, slowly, then all at once, sorry. And, uh, and that's, that's what I expect. 70% um, of people in El Salvador don't have bank accounts or access to the existing financial system. And so a lot of people think that Bitcoin doesn't matter. And you know, in developed nations, America, Canada, Europe, it, it doesn't have the same impact that it does in some of these smaller developing countries. All right, Mitch, the current state of, of Bitcoins right now, the market's been kind of all over the place this year. It's been riding high and, and then it hasn't. How would you describe it right now? Yeah, it's, de it's definitely been volatile. Um, we saw an all-time high earlier this year of about 64,000. Um, we're pulled back. We're about 37, 38,000 right now. And this volatility is fairly normal. Um, you know, we're, we're in a price discovery stage of Bitcoin. And, uh, you know, a lot of people dollar cost average into this asset. So they're just constantly buying. And uh, when these pullbacks happen, people tend to buy more. So for someone who's not familiar with cryptocurrency and they're watching this, they want to get involved, but they feel it's a little overwhelming. What do they need to know? What advice can you give them? Yeah, I'd say to zoom out, look at the bigger picture, um, you know, do everything you can to start to understand the underlying assets that you're purchasing, whether that's Bitcoin or Ethereum. And, um, you know, zoom out, look at the bigger picture. And, um, you know, we've got a really great resource built out on our website, netcoins.ca, which is called the Crypto Academy. Um, that answers a lot of those questions that people have when they're first trying to get involved in the industry. What's the traction been like on netcoins.ca? Obviously, you, you were a, a major part of that. Has, has it been consistently growing, regardless of how the market's done for crypto? Has it been growing? Yeah, absolutely. We've been, we've been having some incredible growth, um, about 30% month over month. Hmm. And I think um, you know, being owned by a, a publicly traded company, big digital assets, adds a lot of credibility to, uh, to Netcoins. And uh, we've been working with the regulators across the country to, um, to try and develop the framework um, for crypto platforms moving forward. All right, Mitchell, uh, good stuff. I always learn something when you jump on. We appreciate it. Have a great weekend. Again, uh, netcoins.ca, if you want to dip your toe in the water here or get some more information, uh, it's, it's the place to go. Mitchell, have a great weekend. Thank you very much. Thanks, Todd. Bye. All right. Ever-changing industry, cryptocurrency. Uh, Netcoins will help you out. Coming up, the cast of In the Heights, including Lin-Manuel Miranda, tell us about bringing the new musical film to life on the big screen and celebrating Latin culture. Devo talked to everyone involved. That interview's next here on BT. This is the moment when you do better than me, because you can see a few.